Hello, I'm Dr. Yatin Mehta, Chairman Vedanta Institute of Critical Care Analysis. So, ARDS remains a major challenge for management of sick patients in the intensive care unit. Over a period of time, the mortality, although has reduced a little bit, but still it remains substantial. 30 to 40 percent of the patients will die who get severe ARDS. So, what does one do to reduce the mortality? Now, awareness during the COVID times has increased of management of ARDS, but unfortunately, we had a huge mortality despite all the knowledge and awareness and equipment. So there is nothing magical, there is no specific medicine which is going to work against it because it's a, it's a very non-specific generic disease. Basically many, many diseases or many, many affections can produce ARDS. So ARDS is the end stage of the disease process. So how does one control it? One manages organ dysfunction, ventilatory support, prone ventilation, different modalities of ventilation including ARSNET and prevention of intubation by HFNC and BiPAP initially and then ultimately if the patient still is refractory hypoxemic then you put him on uh, eh. Despite that the mortality as I said remains high on respiratory um, ECMO the mortality worldwide is 40, about 40 percent which is very high and there are certain major cost implications also because ECMO is very expensive. So what does one do? Avipedil is a new molecule which is an endogenous peptide, VIP. And this is not only produced in the body but although this is synthetic and it has similar effects. What does it do? Now what happens in ARDS which is privately fine is the in the exudative phase there is leakage of fluid from the alveolar uh, cells. The gas exchange cells, which are type 1 alveolar cells, are damaged badly, so oxygenation does not happen very effectively, and surfactant produces production has significantly gone down. All the surfactant has been used in uh, neonates, but not been very effective in adult population. So surface, surfactant is down, the surface tension is down, fluid is leaking into the alveolar uh, surfaces and alveolar spaces, extra alveolar lung water, as they say, increases, gas exchange is impaired, lung compliance is down, you are not able to oxidate the patient, not able to ventilate him without exceeding the pressures which are recommended. And this molecule is supposed to increase, has been found actually, to increase the production of surfactant. It improves the regeneration of uh, alveolar type 1 cells and significantly reduces the inflammatory markers because local inflammation also plays an important role in worsening of ARDS. Several clinical studies are available, although most of them are during the COVID times, so, so it has been approved by DCGI for COVID, but I have used it personally in non-COVID patients also and found dramatic improvement in the patient's oxygenation and the patients we were able to wean off the ventilator in a few days' time, the person whom I was planning to put on it. So, the initial experience is very good and I think there's a strong possibility that this molecule may help a lot in reducing the morbidity and mortality of severe health.